it might be time to go back to Ravka. Netflix announced that Shadow and Bone would be coming back for a second season. It seems like the show is in full steam ahead of its new season's upcoming release. Netflix announced some of the cast members, with a post on their Twitter confirming that fan-favorite characters such as Nikolai and Wyland were absolutely going to be part of its second season. Starting off, what do we know about the plot so far? Based on the young adult book trilogy written by Lee Bardugo by the same name, Shadow and Bone is rated as as TV 14 because of its violence, nudity, and language. What's the second season's plot going to be like? Well, in the book Siege and Storm, characters Alina and Mal try their best to live together as normal people in Novi Zem, with Alina being unable to use her powers to summon the sun. Having to hide these powers becomes incredibly suffocating for her. While she's dealing with that, the Darkling makes a comeback from the Shadow Fold, but this time he's more powerful than ever before. A video of the cast was recently posted on Twitter in which Archie Renault, who portrays Malian, says that the upcoming season can be summarized in three words, heartbreak, love, and power. An article from Tech Radar said that based on what we saw from the cast in season one's finale, it's very likely that they'll once again follow stories from Siege and Storm, Six of Crows, and King of Scars that follow along with each other in a parallel manner. We think it's pretty okay to assume that season two is going to be jam-packed with adventure, action, and a lot of drama, with its main characters Alina and Mal supposedly being on the run from the Darkling, who's trying his best to get revenge on them and steal Alina's power. Moreover, the cast. We can, of course, expect the lead protagonists, Alina Starkov and Mal Oretsov, to return alongside the story's antagonist, General Kirigan, who ended up surviving being attacked in the Shadowfold in Season 1's premiere. While talking about the cast that'll return, let's not forget Daisy Head. She plays Genya, the tailor who can manipulate anyone's looks, who's now been promoted to one of the regulars with Danielle Galligan, Nina, and Callahan Skogman, Mateus. Others making a return include Jesse May Lee, Ben Barnes, Archie Renault, Freddie Carter, Kit Young, and Amita Suman. Season 2 introduces a very important character, Tamar, who's played by Anna Leong Brophy, another Grisha who joins Alina's side and helps her in her journey to take down the Darkling and eventually to reunite Ravka. Though a lot of new characters are coming on in its newest season, Louis Tan plays Tolia, who is Tamar's brother, and a powerful Grisha who joins Alina's side in the fight. The two are often seen working in tandem throughout the novel series, though Tan is very famous for his role in Mortal Kombat. Another character coming up is the Ravkin Kingdom's prodigal son, Nikolai Lansov, who's played by Patrick Gibson. Without any spoilers, since he does play a major role in the story and is pivotal to Alina's fight against the Darkling. Overall, Nikolai isn't into the politics of the kingdom. He ends up lying to the royal family that he's traveling and studying up, but instead he's got much more fascinating hobbies. Though this character's name is different from what he's called in the books, which understandably may leave some viewers extremely confused. But Wylan is too weird of a name to be anyone else other than the engineer Kaz gets a hold of in Six of Crows to help them out with a very important heist job. The character is played by Jack Wolf. Lastly, when is season 2 coming out? Shadow and Bone season 2 officially finished filming back in July, with it currently being under a lengthy post-production phase, with a lot of CGI, VFX, and sound design taken care of for a high-quality release. Though it's important to keep in mind that its launch may be delayed with some reshoots and pickups, as is the case with a lot of shows. Fans shouldn't expect the season to come out before early 2023, since a lot of things would have to be polished out before it's out. We suspect that a launch or release may be revealed at this year's end, probably at to dumb 2022 with, of course, Netflix putting out an official announcement and a teaser trailer to get everyone riled up, as they do with all of their major releases. We might be able to finally get to see it in February or March of 2023, though if the team needs some time to iron out more kinks, fans would be more than happy to wait just a little bit more. The good news is that according to showrunner Eric Heiserer, there will officially be a third season, as it was part of his pitch to Netflix. Eric further says that all of this came about from a New Year's resolution that he had, which was to read more for himself. He ended up reading the series and just had to adapt it for a TV release, thinking that it might be one of the most entertaining projects he could work on, or at least according to a report from Collider. Though the streaming service is still known for canceling highly rated shows despite more seasons being part of the plan, all we can do is wait and hope for more. Other news. Coming up, a deleted scene hints at a romance. The deleted scene is short but just as sweet, having been cut out 
out from the fourth episode before Alina figures out that the Darkling is General Kirigan, an evil centuries-old mage who wanted to take her son's summoning powers. The scene takes place when both of them are still on good terms and there were chances of a romance. It takes place when Alina and Kirigan are riding through a garden in the small palace of Ravka into the countryside that surrounds it. Alina ends up letting go of her horse's reins and opens up her arms, thinking that she could never have imagined so much freedom, while the Darkling is looking at her with a menacing but adoring smile. The release of this scene isn't the only thing Netflix put out as a celebration of Shadow and Bone's anniversary. They also came out with an original chemistry test between Callahan Skogman, Matthias Helvar, and Daniela Galligan, Nina Zenik, further putting it side by side with some of the scenes from the show. The two characters have a forbidden romance. Matthias hunts Grisha while Nina is a former Grisha, thus good chemistry between the two was extremely important while casting. Furthermore, Shadow and Bones cast at Comic-Con. Celebrations might be in the works since the Comic-Con being held in New York just added some guests to its list that includes stars from Shadow and Bone. The list includes Freddie Carter, Amita Suman, and Kit Young. This trio is known for playing Kaz Brecker, Inej Gaffa, and Jesper Fahey, respectively, while other stars of the show include Jesse May Lee, Ben Barnes, Archie Renault, Sujaya Desgupta, Danielle Galligan, Daisy Head, Callahan Skogman, and many more. Opportunities to take pictures with them, including a Crows team-up photo and a chance to get autographs with Carter, Suman, and Young would be up for grabs as they attend the convention from Friday to Sunday. The New York Comic Con takes place from the 6th to the 9th of October at Javits Center up in New York. You can get tickets for it right now, though do make sure to fill out the fan verification process to be able to get your hands on them. Finally, how did season one differ from the books? Milo the Goat was never a part of the book. With one of the cutest and funniest storylines, he ended up becoming a fan favorite incredibly quickly. With how much he's adored, we could see him make his way to the books, further uniting the books and the show. For the show to work, they had to join in both narratives from the Crow's story and the original trilogy, even though the Crows show up after it. Despite the characters being shown in season one, they're actually from different book series, with events taking place at completely different times, and most of them never even met each other, though some of them do get to meet each other only in the book called King of Scars, which came out much later, after both book series were officially over. Another instance would be that Alina's unit was actually supposed to cross the fold from the very start. They changed that part just to add more drama and emphasis to it. Not only that, but also to show the characters' friendships and to make the protagonist more active. That's a wrap for this video. What are you looking forward to in the upcoming season? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.